Hi there. Today we're going to look at the Valley of Life, 2017 vintage. Uh, the Valley of Life wine in the Valde V portfolio is um, a wine that, that's, I think, really special and, and really speaks to Valde V and where we are situated in, in this valley uh, between the Paul Franche Hook area. Uh, Valde V, the French term actually translates into English as uh, the Valley of Life. So we sort of share this uh, South African slash French history within our wine industry and this makes it for such a such a special blend to have in the portfolio. Um, over the past few weeks we, we really looked at, at the whole range and, and all the beautiful wines that, that, that we can produce here at the winery. Um, but the Valley is one of those very unique special blends um, called the Bordeaux blend, as they will refer to it in, in, in French um, or in France, that Bordeaux refers to the region in, in, in France. So to understand the Bordeaux variety, you sort of need to, to know a bit of the history of, of, of Bordeaux and, and the varieties that's grown in, in that area. So basically in, in Bordeaux, you have a river called the Garonne that, that, that flows through the Bordeaux region um, and it's divided into the left bank and, and right bank. So where on, on the left bank you have more of the serious Cabernet Sauvignon growers and on the right bank you have more of that serious Merlot growers. In the Bordeaux region you basically have five varieties um, that, that grow. As, as I explained you have um, your, your Cabernet Sauvignon and your Merlot which is the majority of the blend. Then you also have Malbec, Petit Verdot and Cabernet Franc that's also sometimes used in, in this blend. For the Valley of Life, we use, it's a Cabernet Sauvignon based uh, blend. So we have about 45% of uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, around 35% Merlot, and the rest is a little bit of Malbec and Petit Verdot. All the grapes is hand harvested. It comes into the winery. Each block is kept separate. All the winemaking takes place separately. So the Cabernet blocks will be kept separate, Merlot, the Malbec, and the Petit Verdot. Each of them will be made separately and then also age in 225 litre barrels and also 300 litre barrels. The aging will take place around 16 to 18 months of aging for this wine. Um, and then after the aging process, the blend will start. So the blending is actually quite a, quite a unique process where we really get together and taste all the different components separately and eventually in the lab try to create a blend that's that's unique to the style that we want for the valley valley of life blending wine is is a very important process in the winemaking process because making it is sort of easy right until the point where everything is aging in barrel but when you blend the wine physically in the winery and you throw all the barrels into a tank and you make that blend up you can't reconstruct it so you really have to know that you you got it right so the best way is to after the bench trials were made up in the lab, we make up little sample bottles, which we, then I myself will take home and normally over a weekend with a bra or with some friends, we will actually drink this wine. It's one thing standing in the cellar, tasting wine, um, then actually drinking it and enjoying it. At the end of the day, you would love to have a wine where you're not just gonna pick up the glass and say, yeah, it's good, it's nice, it's fine, you take a sip. The actual thing is, you should be able to drink a bottle of it. So it's really important to then go home and drink this and enjoy it with friends and get that different opinions, um, not just from wine colleagues, but from your consumer, the, the, the person who's gonna, gonna, gonna drink this wine. So after this whole process that can almost take months, we prepare the wine for, for the bottling process. And I think taking that whole process into account from the grapes, from the aging, the blending, the whole process. When we actually look at this Val de Vie Valley of Life 2017, when I smell this wine, I really get that beautiful blueberry and cassis notes from the Cabernet coming through beautifully on the nose. Then you have that really red fruits from the Merlot and the Petit Verdot and Malbec, um, even though it's not as well known as Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot, you, you do pick up that that, that varietal characters of Petty and Malbec, which is normally quite stronger. That's also why we use it in a lesser amount. I think when you use too much, you can maybe have a too overpowering wine. On the palate of the valley, 
the Malbec and the Petit Verdot, together with the aging that took place in the barrels, really just uplifts this wine. You get that expression of fruit, expression of varietal character, nice ripe tannin structure from the, from the Petit Verdot and the Malbec and the tannins from, from the oak tannins from the barrel, I think is a very good integration of fruit and oak in the wine. I think this is a wine that really when you, when you taste it and you drink this and enjoy this, you, you do get that feeling of sophistication and, and elegance that is captured in this wine. There's a great combination of, of fruit and oak and it sort of just lingers telling your palate to take another sip. This brings us to the end of our wine tasting series. Please remember to go and like and subscribe to our YouTube channel to enjoy more videos of Valdivia Estate.